Over the last few hours, Sean Diddy, Diddy Combs, as he was known, or Puff Daddy, uh, videos came out, surfaced, a surveillance video when he was in a hotel with his ex-wife, Cassie, came out, showing uh, him brutally treating this young lady uh, in a hotel. And uh, it was very hectic. I mean, like, I cannot even play that over here. And I wanted to talk here on this video about what is it that that happens with us when we get involved in ritual practice or in ritual works so that people can understand the dangers of involving one into these things. Because that video or the video that we, we saw that shows him standing over her and beating on this woman, it's a, it's a display of what happens. It's a display of why I continuously say, you know, we are not to get involved in this ritual stuff and all that. And I believe he, he did. He got involved in that and it has ruined him. It has ruined any aspect of humanity out of him. And I want to explain how we come to that. Uh, in this particular episode. It's the actuality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Other episodes down today, they will be down in the pinned comments. And so you can go check out those videos. Uh, it's uh, the boy's birthday today. So I'm going to go out. Uh, I need to get me a new speaker. My, my, my speaker is not properly working. And so thank you. That's not the topic. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so we're talking about this subject here, right? Why? Why is it that ritual practice causes this? When people get involved in ritual practice, they come to a position of priesthood. And in that position of priesthood, this is where if one no, uh, is not careful, or if the God that one worships is one that he can dictate to. That's why you ask yourself, why is it? I remember one of my mentors being asked, why is it? that they have gods which don't speak back why why do they prefer gods of gold and stone and stuff is because that god you can tell what goes that god you can instruct you can navigate your way you can create your own rules around that god you see which is why we have the living god in the bible the bible says uh, the, the word of god pierces through like a uh, like a sword you know now, it would cause conviction either ways. This is why when we're speaking with people like, uh, when we're speaking about the people like Bishop Jakes being close to Pete Diddy, I asked this question. It was not personal. I asked this question. Why is it out of everybody that Bishop Jakes had distanced himself from? Did he not distance himself from, from this man? Because Bishop Jakes, when Juanita Bainham started messing up. He distanced himself so quick, you know. But when a an individual, a one earring wearing gentleman accused of being a double sided, double minded man, uh, comes into his life, he cannot distance himself. Why is it that he had that? It, it was a very curious thing for me. I never understood that part, but I stated. Ritual practice causes that. Because as I stated, ritual practice puts us at a position of a high priest. We start to offer sacrifices. And when you offer sacrifices, okay, although it may look, although it may, uh, it may seem uh, like something that, would, that builds humility, it creates an area of pride, which is where Israel got stuck. It got stuck in the area of pride. When you read the book of Malachi, you are hearing how God sees the pride of Israel in treating God, who is father, in a very disgusting manner. If I am, if I am your father, why is it that you do not give me honor? He is talking about this area of pride that Israel had come to. Because in ritual practice, that's what might happen to you. This brother for me, has gotten involved in ritual practice and it has cost him his humanity. 
This is why I believe the Bible tells us or warns us in Colossians chapter number 2. Colossians chapter number 2 verse 20 to 21. Uh, and, he, and he puts it like this. He says, if you have died with Christ to the spiritual forces of this world. Now notice, he attaches the sacrifice of Christ from a spiritual perspective to something that relates to this world. Being our birth on this earth. The areas of our roots and everything. Our ancestral and what not. All of that, he attaches it back into this. He says, you, were, you died with Christ. There's something that, that is root here. He says, if you have died, past tense, with Christ to the spiritual forces of this world, of the world, why, as though you, you still belong to the world, do you submit to its regulations right here he is now bringing another aspect of why those who are not born again are going to hell is that if you were born again you have the holy spirit he will never allow you to completely go into debauchery unless you silence the holy spirit but he says why is it that you would cause that what is it that, that makes you not to have that perception? Why is it this is the one area I expect you guys to have, right? Okay. Now, he then says, do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. I've illustrated this before because you could really apply this verse to ritual practice. You see, when we got born again, we were detached from this earthly stuff that is down here. And the Holy Spirit comes in so that he makes it possible for us to now distance ourselves from sin. And so when he says things like, do not handle, handle not, touch not, taste not. This idea of touch not. He then furthers it and he says, this, the, those, those, these will all perish with the use because they are based on human commands and teachings. These ritual practices are rooted within human ideas without understanding the connection that they give. Him. He says, don't touch. There are certain things once you get involved in, they will come. That's why you will hear of a Sangoma who gets involved with Lubungoma, who was not thinking, who got involved with juju stuff and they become an ad, uh, alcohol addict. Why? They touched something they were not supposed to touch. The things with, with the use have a perishing effect. So you burn the end, you burn whatever sacrifice you burn, whatever you they have a perishing nature. So people get involved with ritual life sacrifices to extend their success. And so with the passing of that person, it, it brings a perishing, but brings life to something else. It says touch not to those things because they bring a dehuman aspect, a hum, a, an inhuman aspect to it. And guess what? That is what affects people like PDD to becoming so ruthless. Because at that point, that person, it's like a person who saves money. You know, a person who saves money has no value for other people's life. So they, they'll do whatever it takes to, to, to earn it. You, know, you heard the young lady yesterday on yesterday's video where she says, you know, God would rather hate me. I'd rather make money than have to be a decent individual. She says it openly. Why? The things with use which have a perishing aspect to it. When we get involved in ritual practice, which P. Diddy is very clearly into, it affects our humanity. It affects, uh, not that it, like you, you're no longer human. No, it's that you iron out. When the Bible talks about ironing out your conscience, that's what happens there. 
And so the reason why he has T.D. Jakes next to him is not to be upright. No, 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 no. Same reason that he can attend that church, sit there, move out, walk out, as if nothing just happened. And so it's because he's in an environment that allows him. Now, I bring, it, I bring in Jakes there, not because uh, I'm attaching him to this act, but I wanted to remind here, with when Mace, remember Mace was a pastor. May says when you approached Bishop Jakes about certain as aspects of abuses which which P. Diddy was involved in, Jakes kind of shrugged it to the shot, to the side, kind of pushed it to the side. Did not address it, did not raise it up, did not why? So because that relationship, it's it's an approval relationship. It's not it's not that he wants to be right. Uh-uh. He makes the relationship so that he can approve himself. He is approved, which is exactly what the what the flag people want to do. They don't want to acknowledge what the Bible says as a truth. So what they would rather have is the rest of us approve them, us being next to them. It's the same thing that I've said about Lengyo Mtlaba when she was busy with Kelly Kumal. I said her cl closing up to her affirms her because there is no correction there. You get next to these people, there has to be correction, there has to be. That conversation must be there. Right, wrong. Otherwise, there is a problem. So now you can understand why people would complain about contracts that don't make sense, that these people sign about people. People like PDD sign contracts that take away the livelihood of people completely for their entire lives. So you're like a slave. Why? The humanity aspect completely shrugged off. Ritual practice does that. You know, I was talking to one lady, she's former, a former Sangoma, and she mentioned this particular point, and she says, there's a certain pride that comes off of people that do rituals. There's a certain pride, because uh, not, it's not only a pride or a, a thing, it's that there is something that gives them the confidence by which they speak. So, what sounds like confidence to you? It's not that they have confidence. No, it's that they have trusted in something that they they know gives them that confidence that they speak with out in the open. Ritual practice corrupts. How often is it? You remember, what's his name? Uh, Jin, the former bodyguard of Puff Daddy. He mentioned that you guys don't understand. This man has been doing dodgy man things for a very long time. Gene mentioned he had warned him about Diddy, about Biggie going out that day. That particular day, he says that they did, they warned not to go anywhere, but yet still he went. And he, he even he didn't want to go, but Diddy kept pushing him. When you get involved in ritual practice, there's no telling what it will take. Or when you now become the initiator, there's no telling how far you go. Because why are human, you, the value for human is no longer there. This is what it does. But that's just my two cents on this particular situation. It's a very crazy video to see. You know, I think a lot of people had this kind of distant delusion with him. You know, they felt like he's a nice guy, he's a good guy, you know. And then you see a video of him kicking someone in the head. Kicking a lady that's trying to run away from him. She's trying to run away from him, by the way. She waited for him to sleep off. Little did she know the devil is, the devil is awake. <laughs> you know, the devil woke up and... It will dehumanize you. That's what the devil is about. So he doesn't have to kill you today. He can he can have you hold a, a very high position, and then in the process of you holding that position, he 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 creates an environment where you you can dehumanize other people. You embrace that dark side. The Reality Show Daily Christian Commentary videos. I thought to come here and just kind of like let's because it's something that we talked about very really recently to say. There's a reason why we are not to get involved in ritual practice. The Bible says, touch not. These things which have, with the use, have a perishing effect. 
and ritual practice f- functions within that area it puts you as, as a priestly position and so what it does is that it puts you in danger because you lose your humanity the more you get involved in it even if you think about rankings within that yeah you use your humanity so the way you treat people the way you see people just kind of diminishes over time it's tricky i'll see you on a later on episode y'all have a good one